Hey, what's going on everybody? Osric here with 1320 Automoto. Um, so a while back, I created a video about showing you how to remove the speedo ring gear off of the differential. Um, today's video is pretty much the exact opposite. I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and install it right back onto that same differential. Or let's say you upgraded and now you have an LSD differential. Um, let's say from out of the Civic Si, like the K20 Z3 differential. And you want to, to actually um, install that ring gear right back on that differential the way it is. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Stay tuned, here we go. All right, guys so here we go first things first i'm gonna put this speedo ring gear right here on this smooth surface on these two plates okay i'm actually going to install the gear over the diff bearing that way it's going to be perfectly straight to go down right onto the diff all right now you cannot rush this process if at any point in time something seems off you need to stop and realign and readjust everything that you're doing. I'm using a one and a quarter inch socket because it fits perfectly onto this shaft and it'll push it straight down. Now, you have to wash. And the very minute you see something Pay attention to it. So I notice right now, currently, the rear is still high. So what you can do, okay? And the same bracket that we use for this, you can use it here. There you go. Okay, adjust it again. Do the same thing. Pay attention to it. So now we can get back to where we were, all right? All right, we want to center it again now. stop again remember like I said this is a patient process if you do not have the patience then I strongly advise you not to attempt to do this okay Okay. All you are doing is making sure that it is even. Once it is even, then you can continue with the installation process the normal way. Okay. Go. As you see, it's 
see, it's going down, it's going down. All right. Boom. Oops. All right, sometimes you might want to rotate it. While you're going down, watch it. And there you have it. Pretty much use the same tools that I use to remove it. It is over the bearing. No problem to the bearing. And now you have a ring gear installed on an LSD transmission from a Z3 and you the Civic SIs. Okay. Another thing I wanted to point out, no damage to the actual gear itself. I've done countless of these. I've heard people say they've installed it and break them. I'm not sure exactly how. I've done this no problem. This is my go-to remedy and it always works for me. If you pretty much follow the majority of what I just told you in the video, I don't think you'll have any problem at all installing LSD. I'm sorry, installing the, the Speedo ring gear on this LSD. That's it. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to uh, my channel. I'll try to post some more videos, helpful videos in terms of our K-Series transmissions. Have a nice day.